Well, folks, the long-awaited return. You guys have given me mad shit because I'm, and, and, and rightfully so. Rightfully so. It's It's been like, <laughs> probably like two or three months since I've posted to this channel. Yeah, it's been a minute. Who better than to do the return to the After Hours channel, the first cigar video in quite a while, than with our good friends, people that we kind of almost started this channel with, the good folks at Pravada Cigar Club. All right, folks, so we're back finally with some cigar content for you guys. Me and my wife were up here drinking some whiskey. She was like, I think I want a cigar. So I thought, hey, this is the perfect time to do the Charger Ash video. I was actually gonna do this video some time ago, back a couple months ago, and you fucking savages bought these cigars so fast that before I could get the video done, they were sold out. And then Brian was like, yo, pump the brakes because, uh, we don't have any more cigars, they've sold out. Now, if I'm not mistaken, Brian has more of them in stock and he's gonna be releasing them soon. So, we're gonna do the Charger Ash video. What is Charger Ash? Well, one, it is a Lancero. If a Lancero is rolled properly, I think it is the best expression, the best interpretation of a particular blend. I love Lanceros. My wife hasn't smoked a cigar in like, years. Probably 10 years. <laughs> right, she used to smoke when she was trying to get me hooked. She used to go to whiskey bars with me and have whiskey and cigars. There was no trying, guys, okay? <laughs> I didn't have to try. But I will give her credit. I've heard a lot of you guys say that your wives get mad at you because you smell like cigars or whatever and they give you shit about smoking cigars. She doesn't say shit to me. I have a cigar room in her house. I smoke cigars all the time. She never gives me grief, so I gotta give her some props for that. So you do good, you do good. But she said she wanted to smoke one tonight. I'm like, this is perfect because we can compete when we're doing this Charger Ash video. I can't turn down a competition. This isn't really about this cigar, although we are gonna go into some brief details about the cigar. This video is more about the fact that Brian is doing this competition. He's giving away a fucking car, <laughs> a car. And I don't mean like a toy car or like a little matchbox car. I mean like a 50 or $60,000 Dodge Charger. He told me about this and I was like, you're doing what? Bacon powder? Yeah, he's like, yeah, we're giving away a Dodge Charger. I'm like, dude, you are an insane person. Never <laughs> heard crazy. of a cigar giveaway where they're giving away a car. The video is gonna be more about this competition and what it's about and the fact that you can have a chance to win a car from smoking a cigar. But we are gonna go briefly because this is a pretty special cigar. This is an Aladino cigar. Now, if you don't know about Aladino cigars, I've heard from many people in the cigar industry, from Brian, uh, from guys at my local to, uh, tobacconist. If you want a cigar that is reminiscent of the old school Cuban cigars, Aladino is the one because apparently they have this special original Cuban Corojo seed when the whole embargo thing happened. I think they took that seed and they moved and went to Honduras. They went to Honduras. <laughs> Fucking moron. They went to Honduras uh, and started growing this Cuban seed Corojo tobacco in Honduras. Are you making fun of me right now? He struggles, y'all. Chris Brown your ass right here on camera. <laughs> My name is not Rihanna. <laughs> I can't joke around about Chris Brown. I joked around that once before and people gave me some shit. If you're a fan of Cuban cigars, if you're a fan of that, these are the shit. Seven by 38. It has a Habano wrapper. It has that uh, original Cuban seed Corojo binder and the filler is undisclosed. It's a mystery. It's a mystery. I am V cutting this, which I normally don't V cut Lanceros. Living on the wild side. Looks like a little camel toe. Camel toes like this. Mm. It has to go this way. That's a good draw. Lanceros, I'm always a little concerned about the draw. It's so narrow, sometimes I can get a bit, a bit stiff. <laughs> That's what she said. 
Not a real strong nose. A little barnyard. Yeah, little it's pretty cedar. mild. I mean to get it going for yeah. you. Toast this damn thing. Trying to burn me. Don't slobber it up now. Getting it lit evenly to start with is gonna be a big part of this. It is a long ash competition. So you can use a normal ruler or Brian has rulers available. You get a ruler, I think free with a 10 pack, uh, or you can purchase them on the website, or you can just use a standard uh, ruler. He's got the little fancy schmancy Pravada charger ash. That's cedary. You don't taste cedar? <laughs> We just, we just shot a whiskey tasting video and we were laughing about her palate and like half the shit that I taste in whiskey, she's like, what the hell are you talking about? There's a little bit of like a, a, a something almost reminds me of like malt ball, uh, not moth balls, but malt, like malted milk, like a, a Whopper. There's something in there that I just got like a, a whiff of a Whopper. I, know. I love Whoppers. I know, but I just got like a malty kind of uh, thing. That's a great draw for a Lancero. You're gonna to wanna to mind that ash. Mind Cause I, it. Cause what I, does that mean? Pay attention. So I wanna so, make sure I don't let it go out. No, you, well, you, not the go out. You don't want the ash to fall off. Well, right, because I'm gonna win. And I've got a bad start here. Cause see, I got a little crack my going. Shits. My now, shit's Now here's good. the thing about this competition. Some of this is skill, some. I'd say it's about 50-50 skill and luck. There is some skill to, you know, kind of being gentle with it, not knocking it around too much. You start taking puffs like this and shit so that the ash- the, Oh, it'll fall on your face. No, it's, it's all good. Some of it is the individual cigar, right? It's what I say, luck of the draw. Now, this being a Lancero, this is gonna be about the hardest you could possibly make. A, yeah, because it's long. Well, it, it, it's thin, so it's very brittle. Like normally if you're doing a long ash competition, you're gonna wanna do like a Robusto or something heavier. It's gonna be tough, but the goal is to get the longest How do you ash. measure though? It's right here. No, no, I know, but like, you measure it with a ruler. All of a sudden it just falls. And well, you keep you keep an eye on it and you measure it regularly. Right now you're at about a quarter of an inch. You gotta go by the centimeters. You can't, you're done. No, we're, we're in America, <laughs> God damn it. We're doing, and we're doing imperial, okay? Metric. We do metric at work. It's not time for the upside down yet. I've already got some suspect cracking and shit going on in the f right there that's worrying me. This is a hand rolled natural product. So each leaf is gonna have some differences in it. And if you get something that's got a little bit of a fucked up roll, you, you, you might be doomed. So there, there's a lot of luck involved in this. Let's be honest. Try to get the ash as long as you can. Take a picture of it with your ruler. Make sure it's all legible. You can see it in the shot. And then you're gonna wanna either email that picture to info at pravadacigarclub.com or post it on your socials like Instagram with hashtag charger ash. You can also make sure you hashtag Pravada Cigar Club so they see it. Um, tag them. Tag them, yeah. do all the things, make sure they see it. Shit, do it, all of it. Send one of them to info at Pravada Cigar, hashtag charger ash, hashtag Pravada Cigar Club, hashtag Brian's awesome, hashtag I fucking love Pravada, whatever, <laughs> hashtag we are Pravada. Do all the hashtags, all the things, to make sure uh, they see it. This contest is running all year. Oh, really? Yeah, it's running for the whole year. So Dang. they're not doing the, the entry, I think, until like December of this year. They're gonna draw the winner. And then, oh, wow. well, That's they're gonna cool. draw like, I think the top five. And then the top five are gonna do like, I think it's gonna be like a live stream and they're gonna have to like do this live and whoever wins is the winner. See, yours is looking solid. You got the like stack of dimes. Yeah, but it's like not even. That little bit of evenness is okay though, but you got that stack of dimes. I've got, see this crack? Cause I'm a dime piece. Dime piece. But you see this crack in mine right here? That's gonna be causing me some real problems. And that's nothing I did. I got almost two would centimeters. You quit with the fucking centimeters already. It's, it's the only thing I know. <laughs> you measure. don't know how to measure in inches? I do, but I'm just saying like centimeters is better because it's smaller, so it's easier to measure. This is America. This is America, god damn it. Three quarters of an inch. I'm telling you, I'm gonna have a, a she's finna whoop. You see that big ass crack right there in that ash? Oh yeah. And see, that's nothing I've done. That's just a luck of the draw. Do I need to go in like this? I mean, if you want to, I'm doing it because mine's a little janky, but yours is solid. Although Lanceros do. It, it makes me nervous because I feel like it wants to fall. Oh, I'm holding this bitch just like this. I guarantee you. I'm only at, um, fuck them centimeters. About three quarters That's of an inch. That's what I have. Three quarters That's of an inch. Yeah, but mine looks all janky and I got a big 
Mine crack. does look No, nice. see, stack of dimes, but it's not, the lock. You have to do it like this? The focus is locked. Oh. So it's not gonna work. It does look nice, doesn't it? It's a stack of dimes, dude, I'm telling you, look at mine. <laughs> Yours is janky. My, so. Mine looks like Forrest. <laughs> it's like crooked on the It's side. crooked, mine looks like Forrest Gump's legs at the beginning of Forrest Gump when they're all fucked up and he had to have. <laughs> shit ain't gonna last. My shit ain't gonna last. I'm well, gonna win this bitch. Oh, she's finna win it. Mine, mine's gonna be bad. Mine's gonna be real bad. <laughs> Look at that, that's solid as shit. I mean, that's solid as a rock. You could probably tilt that sideways and it would hold. So. Drinking whiskey, smoking cigars. She's back, ladies and gentlemen. This cigar is great though. <laughs> we smoke it upside down. There's some strong cedar. It's like a, a, a nice, sweet cedar. For some reason, I keep getting that like malted flavor like that you get in Whoppers. I don't know why I'm getting that. And there's there's some like this floral. way more hard to-, to uh, Oh, you're not gonna be getting notes. Identify I, than, I wouldn't uh, expect bourbon. you to. I'm at a, I'm a little over an inch. <laughs> Shut your shit up. <laughs> oh, it's already like crooked. Oh, I'm doomed. I knew when I saw that crack in the ash right off the rip that this, this dude was. You're like, you should just take pictures as you go. Like every time you measure, yes. take a picture. Cause yes. you never know when it's gonna fall off. For sure. If you buy it from Bravada, he's got a little stand you can put it in so you can do this like by yourself if you really wanted to. You need a buddy. But, well, it's and just, it's more fun. It's more fun, right? Do it with a friend. Cause nobody wants to lose. Do it with your wife. Smoke it. There you go. Get, get, Quit looking get, at me! Get, I gotta try to sabotage you because my shit is gonna be... That's it. Suck it. That's it. There you go. <laughs> I'm gonna beat ya. You are. Look at mine. Mine looks like the freaking hunchback of Notre Dame over here. I've got a fan in here. I've got exhaust vents. That is a good cigar. One inch. Brian was... You're an inch too. Yeah, I mean, we're, we've been smoking the same length of time, so we should be about the same. Brian was super excited about the cigar, um, and rightly so. It's it's a banger of a cigar. It's Lancero. It's got these nice creamy cedar notes. It's got a fantastic draw. The sign of kind of a well-rolled Lancero because they're so skinny, they can get real tight on the draw very easy. It's like a nice, sweet, creamy cedar. It's very creamy, thick smoke. I'm getting a little bit of that, like, I don't know why I'm getting this, like, malted flavor. I don't know where that's coming from. I'm gonna laugh so hard if that falls <laughs> in your beard. <laughs> a little bit of pepper on the retro ale. Oh my god, you're gonna beat you're gonna beat me on the ash. I'm not gonna beat you. Yours doesn't have any cracks in it yet. That thing looks like a yeah, straight. See, it's getting kind of crooked. Dude, look at mine. Are you kidding me? I've got like a rest ring down here. I don't know what all the terminology is, but. Uh, rest ring is not cigar terminology. That's like, actually, I'm not going to go into what a rest ring is because it's kind of gross. <laughs> and I don't know if it's appropriate for the Pravada video. <laughs> Brian will be like, man, really? That's the kind of shit you're talking about in the video for my fucking contest? It's falling over. Oh, it's falling over. Look at that crooked ass hunchback looking. Yeah, thing. but it, yours is longer. Look. Easy. You were trying to, you were trying to sabotage my shit. <laughs> you were trying to bump. I wasn't. Yours is longer though. That's what she said. That's what she said. That's what she said. Good one. Like, do I need to be doing something different? I'm an inch and a half. On the draw? No, honestly, I need On to- On the draw? I need to slow down a little bit because another thing about getting long ashes is you don't want to smoke too fast because if you get this thing too hot, I feel like that makes the ash more fragile. If you give it time to kind of cool off in between puffs and kind of like harden up, there's no science to this when I'm saying smoke slow and let it harden. Really? Nothing. I don't even know if that's real, but I just feel like when I've played around and tried to get long ashes on cigars before, it's worked better when I've gone a little slower. You start hot boxing this thing and it's, it's not gonna be a good day. <laughs> Oh man. I got the Leaning Tower. Oh man. I got the Leaning Tower of Pisa over here. How do you feel about the cigar? I mean, look, here's That's the fine. thing. You're not a cigar smoker. So, I mean, you're gonna wake up and feel like a cat shit in your mouth. People that aren't- I mean, I don't brush my teeth when I go to bed. People that are non-cigar smokers always say that about cigars. They're like, ah, oh, my mouth tastes so bad the next day after I smoke a cigar. I will say in her defense, back when she used to smoke cigars, and she pointed this out to me the other day, is back when we both used to smoke cigarettes. We would like smoke cigar and be like, I need to take a break, smoke oh, a cigarette. Dude. I need a cigarette. I put my cigarette down halfway <laughs> through. Because you don't, you don't inhale cigars. Because you don't inhale cigars. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. 
shit is getting super, oh, you got the Leaning Tower of Pisa. I know, that's what I said. I think my crooked in the beginning is starting to help me out because now it's bending out this way and the tip going that way, a little bent tip, just the tip, just for a second. Um, just see how it feels. Just see how it feels. <laughs> You're longer than mine though. I would hope it's longer than yours. So many innuendos could go into this. So many. Oh, man, it's just so many. like, you can't. Yeah, I'm not there yet. I'm creeping up on two inches. I'm not there yet. Um, Gotta go this way. Well, I mean, I guess you could go. This you know, the sweet, I feel like the sweetness of this scar is amping up. I'm probably into the second. But third. if yours falls over, I still win, right? No, it's whoever gets the longest one. It's not whoever falls first, it's who gets the longest one. I'm it's only not, an inch and a half. It's not a time. That's why I keep measuring mine, because I'm almost at two inches. So if mine falls off at two, even if it falls off before yours, and you don't get to two before yours falls off, I still win. <laughs> oh, buddy. I don't even want to fucking breathe on it. <laughs> it's good we had a little whiskey before we went into this, because I feel like that smooths you out. You know, this is not something you want to drink a couple espressos and go into and have the freaking jitters and be over here shaking while you're doing this. This is best with a little cocktail. Get you nice and mellow, get you nice and smoothed out. Nice steady hands. I'm like a freaking rock over here. So it's lo que dice él. That's what he says. Damn it. What are you talking about? I don't think y'all can appreciate. The lean. I don't, can you see it in this camera maybe? Can you appreciate the lean on that? I keep forgetting about this camera. Camera one, camera two, camera one, camera two. What was that? Was that Wayne, uh, Wayne's, Wayne's World? World. Yeah. Camera one, camera two, camera one. Wayne's camera. World. Party on. Oh, so you almost made me do that. That was sabotage. Party on. Oh. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> doodly -doo, doodly -doo, doodly -doo. <laughs> doodly -doo. So you try to sabotage me again. <laughs> okay. I feel like I have to go further back. It's like limbo, kind of. You got to keep it erect. Sabotage. <laughs> Dude, this, I'm having to like tilt this at an angle, try to keep the ash straight, because if I hold the cigar straight, the ash is actually leaning off at like a 45. Man, he's gonna fucking win with a, his broken ash. Crusher. Just a little past Crusher. two, just a little past two inches. I, I will say that I'm amazed it's held on this long. I thought when this thing started off, I was donezo. I'm not even to two. Oh, relax. Uh uh. Oh, dude, I saw some serious movement on that puff. <laughs> oh. oh, dude, I'm so... I like how you hold it over the ashtray oh, because dude, he so... has no faith. I am I am so done. That time when I was puffing, I saw it go. I saw it like as I was... I, I don't to... want it to fall on my face. I need to take a measurement. Two inches. It's a little over two. No. You're not accounting for the bend there. You can't account look, for the bend. Look. You can't estimate the bend. Two. That is past two. Two and like. It's past two. It's barely past two, but it's past two, damn it. Oh, 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 oh. See, I was feeling pretty good about things after that last puff. I'm, 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 I'm thinking you got, because that last puff, I put a serious lean on that. Yeah. Yours is. Yeah. <laughs> You're back to feeling good about it, aren't you? Yeah. You were real bummed out for- I'm like, I got a few more puffs. I mean, this is a fun idea. It is. Right? It's, it is fun. It, you should do it with someone if you do it. I think so. Even if your significant other doesn't usually like to smoke cigars, maybe just for the fun of the game. Or even if they don't smoke one, they can just sit with you and- Yeah, and help you measure like, it and stuff. Yeah. Brand new Dodge Charger I mean, in the mix if I mean, you win. I mean, that's a pretty sweet- uh, Yeah, you know, it's not like, oh, your membership or- you know, a, a box of cigar. That's the kind of shit you would typically hear. Like, oh, you know, when you get a free box of cigars or- I mean, all you gotta do is smoke a cigar. <laughs> right? And don't let the ashes fall and you can win a car. I'm gonna win the car. Can we win the car? Is that a conflict of interest? Did you just see that? <sighs> <laughs> oh my God. Dude, this is like a balancing act. Uh I don't know if you can truly appreciate <laughs> The, the, oh man, the 45 degree angle on this cigar. I'm at like two and a quarter. I still want to bump you right now because. Oh, oh. oh. oh I hate you. Oh, stop. Stop, don't, don't breathe. Do not sabotage me, goddammit. I know you want to. I want it real bad. <laughs> real bad. S I can't believe you won 
on him with that crappy ass. <laughs> Look at my pants. <laughs> yeah, it's it's all over. It's yeah. bad. That's the, a bad situation. At least you can enjoy the cigar. This bitch <laughs> just wiped ash on me. Look at that. I mean, hold on. I don't know. Can can you guys? Come on. Can you guys appreciate? Let me get behind a dark background. There. Can you appreciate the curve on that ash? On that ash. On that ash. <laughs> on that ash. It's gonna go anytime now because. Oh it's, my god! You can't take another puff. Oh, you don't tell me. Oh, I'll tell you. Go ahead. Suck on that. Go ahead. Keep going. Keep going. Draw a little hard. <laughs> you asshole. <laughs> you can't even hold it straight. Oh, wait, I gotta... <sighs> I mean, I've seen people with polio with straighter legs than that. Like, do, do, not, hit my, do not hit my arm. You I'm, can't say that. Why they cured polio? Ain't nobody got polio anymore. It doesn't matter. You can't say that. They're limb different. You can't say that. They're, did you <laughs> say limb different? Yeah. Get the fuck out of here with that. Let me let me get it. Let me get a measurement. It's hard to tell <laughs> because it's like a it's like a left angle. Left angle. Tell the, <laughs> a right, right angle. angle. <laughs> it's a left angle. <laughs> it's getting close to two and a half, but it's hard to tell because I'm losing some <laughs> distance because it's curving off like this. Look at the crack. Can you see that if I hold up to the light? Oh yeah. I mean, there you can see an air gap where the crack is. This is going in my beard for sure. Hold on. Go on, babe. Go for it. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. He's a freaking professional, okay. okay? I'm half paying attention to the cigar and half uh, not. <laughs> because I'm concentrating on this situation. Uh, I will say it's an excellent cigar. Uh, so even once the ash falls off, you're gonna enjoy the rest of it because it's a damn good cigar. I get real nervous every time. You should be nervous. I can see it moving. <laughs> Here's the problem. I'm not getting much length anymore because it's going to the right. Smoke it out in the corner. <laughs> I'm a, actually, I'm gonna start. Smoke it like a pirate. Pre pretty soon, I'm gonna be able to smoke it like a pipe. This is gonna yeah. be straight and going straight up. I don't want you near it. Miss, I'm miss, not gonna sabotage you. I'm already done. Miss Bump a lot of miss. Hey, man, that shit is. Oh, I can feel the heat. <laughs> I'm like, I feel the heat on my ear. Two and a half, almost two and three quarters, probably. Yeah. Can y'all appreciate the curve <laughs> the on angle? that? Can y'all? Can y'all see the curve, the angle of the dangle, as they said? That's said? what I was gonna say, and I was like, no, I won't uh, say that. Of course you are. You're my wife. You think like me. Don't blow out on it. I didn't mean to. You did. You blew smoke right on it. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Drinking the Old Forester? Is that the one? That's a single barrel. Oh. I'm drinking a little of the, the Old Forester single barrel. It was a store pick when they did the single barrels at 90 proof. I think the new single barrels that Old Forester does is a higher proof but they used to do them at 90 proof. Oh, by the way, for you guys on my Patreon, well, for all you guys, but the guys on Patreon will get first dibs. We got some barrel picks coming. Woodford Double Oaked yeah. is coming. I'm not sure exactly how long. I think we're gonna have to do pre-orders on it. But like I said, the samples will be here tomorrow. I'll pick the barrel. We'll get that all lined up. That'll be so fun. It'll be super fun. And I love Double Oak, so that's gonna be really cool. And it, what I'll do is I'm gonna release to my Patreons first, so anybody on my Patreon will get first dibs on a bottle. I think we get around 200 bottles out of a barrel. Anything left, I'll put to the general public so everybody can get a chance to get a one of the picks. Oh, that's really bad. <laughs> That's a mess. So sad. So sad. Dun, dun, dun. Wah, 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 wah. Wah, wah, wah. But it was about, I would say probably close to three inches. Now we can pay a little more attention to the cigar though. And honestly, the construction must be pretty bang on because almost a three inch ash out of a Lancero, I would have never thought, especially with the, the way this one started. That old Forester, really good with it. Really any whiskey I think would go good with this. I don't know what I have in here. I only have one little tiny sip left because you cut me off. I did cut her off. In the last video, we tasted a whole bunch of uh, whiskey and she was getting a little frisky. We gotta make another video 
I need you coherent. Cut me off, so I can only have water. <laughs> I need you coherent for the next video. Can't have you all over the place acting crazy. Really cool contest. Chance to win a car. Hell, even if you don't win the car, just for the fun of it, right? It's just a fun something yeah. to do. You got all year to do it. He should be releasing more of these cigars pretty soon. You can get them on his website. You can get them individually. I think he's got 10 packs of them. If I'm not mistaken, the 10 packs come with one of these rulers. Uh, I think you can also buy these separately uh, on the site. Info at ProvadaCigarClub.com. Hashtag Charger Ash on your social media platforms. Hashtag Provada Cigar Club. All the things. Make sure you're getting pictures of it as you're going. So when it crumbles, uh, you have the most latest. You have some data. You have some data to send off. Get entered into the competition. Thanks to the guys at Pravada for coming up and this crazy shit. I've been doing reviews and, and unboxings on the channel for a long time. Love those guys. Love what they're doing for the cigar culture and cigar industry. Great people over there. Cool contest. Definitely check it out. I know this is a little different than the normal cigar content, but don't worry. We're gonna be back with some normal cigar content. I've got some leaf and barrels in the pipe. Perla de Mar uh, cigar review coming. I've got these these um, sherry cask aged uh, diesel cigars that I love that I'm gonna do a review on. I'm probably gonna do a leaf and barrel with that cigar. You're gonna see some more regular content on the cigar channel. I apologize for the large gap. We're, we're back though. If you guys did enjoy this one, feel free to smash that like button. That always helps us out. If you're not a subscriber, please consider doing so. We'd love to have you on board. I hope everyone, oh, no, nope. different sign off. This is the this is the second channel. This is. You don't do the same? No, this is happy smokes and long ashes to all of you. I mean, especially, especially in this video. And we'll see you in the next video. Mm -mm -mm. I can't believe you won that shit. <laughs> I can't believe I did either. Because I was looking at yours and I'm like, oh, she's gonna, she's gonna win. Know. Oh, and then I whooped that ass. I was wrong. I said, that ass, like this. I was on that ass, like this. <laughs> he wants to be on that ass. <laughs>